Hello, this is Charity Adams from AdamsAcres.com, and I wanted to learn how to make these squirrels and different things that I see on other websites, and I wanted to do that so that I could make some really neat cuts for Sure Cuts Lot, as well as enhance some of my digital or desktop publishing items. This is really easy to do, and I found out how to do it using Inkscape. So let's go ahead and get started. What you'll want to do first is use this tool called the Bezier Curve. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, so please forgive me. Um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to click on it first. And we just want to make a wavy line. Sometimes the shape of that twig or whatever you want to do. If you want to get more elaborate, you sure can. Now, I'm not very good with this tool, so bear with me while I draw my wavy line. Thank goodness for the delete button is all I can say. Okay, so I've got kind of a wavy line. Let me see if I can straighten him out a little bit. He's not quite as curvy as I would like him to be. But sometimes that's the fun of it, is if you are creating these curved lines, sometimes there's a neat effect that comes from your mistakes. And I don't like this guy on the end, so I'm going to get rid of him by just pointing on him and clicking the delete button. We don't need him. Okay. There we go. We've got kind of a wavy line going here. You'll see as I twist these, that's what gives us our curves. Okay, so that's kind of a neat line. It'll be kind of fun to see how this turns out. Okay, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and click on that pin again or that Bezier curve and make yourself a triangle. You can make different shapes. That's what's really fun about this. Yesterday I played around and did ovals and circles and triangles and thinner triangles and tighter triangles and and you get all sorts of different things. So when you do this, have fun. And this is a, a kind of a play tool as well as, as a work tool. Next thing you want to do is click on your node or node tool here. And let's highlight all the nodes. So we've got these are called nodes, and we want to highlight them. Down at the bottom of your screen, you're going to see three of three nodes selected. We need to have at least 192 nodes. And a way to do that is just go up here to the Add button and click on it. And you'll notice down at the bottom that this number doubles every time you click that button. Now, if you make a mistake and you get way more nodes than you planned on getting, go ahead and click on Path, click on Simplify, and it'll bring you back to where you started. So, you know, that's what's great about the computer. You can always fix what you mess up. So I've got at least 192. When you play with that number, that's how you get different shapes and things on this path. I don't ask me why. I don't know the technical behind it, but that's how it works. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is highlight the path, our wavy path, and our new object that we're created. We're going to go up to Extensions, click on Generate from Path, and click on Pattern Along Path. I don't know what all of these mean, but you can figure out that by playing with it. This is what I use, single stretched and snake. And click apply, takes it a second, and you end up with this path. And that's how to make swirls and twirls using Inkscape and Pattern Along Path. This is Charity Adams from AdamsAcres.com. Stop over to AdamsAcres.com and pick up some of our free files today. Have a great day.